Welcome to another GeoGebra tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to construct an isosceles triangle using the radii of a circle. We know that uh, an isosceles triangle, in, or in an isosceles triangle, the two sides are always congruent. So we will use the fact that the radii of any circle are congruent to construct the isosceles triangle. So the first part of the construction is to create a circle with center through point. To do that we use the, the circle tool, choose the center and then choose a point, point on the circle. Next we construct radius AB using the segment between two points tool. So we click the segment between two points tool and then click A and then click B. So if I move A or I move P, circle is resized. Next we construct another point on the circle, which will be the third vertex of the triangle. So that's C. What now uh, notice what happens if I move C. Now C is always on the circle. Unlike uh, A and uh, B where I can move them anywhere but C is just limited on the circle. Next we construct AC which will be the second side of the triangle and then BC which is the third side. Now we know that uh, AC and AB are radii of the same circle so we know that they are always congruent. So even if I move C still AC and a, B are congruent. Also, even if I move B, I'm still sure that A, B and A, C are congruent because they are radii of the same circle. This is also the same with moving A. Okay, so we have constructed uh, an isosceles triangle. The last part of the construction is to hide circle. So right click the circle and then click so show object. So we have an isosceles triangle. We are sure that wherever we move the points, ABC is an isosceles triangle. So that's it. See you in the next tutorial.